Hey guys, Yixarp here, and we're back with Sonic Adventure DX The Tale Story. In the last episode, we attempted to get onto the Egg Carrier, but he destroyed our tornado. And now we're looking for a Chaos Emerald to power our new project. And uh, a frog just stole it, so we're gonna go after him. Now if you go in here, it's kinda weird, you got a bunch of sand blocking you off. But if you go up here and you step on this little statue looking thing... There we go. Everything just starts sinking. And now you, you can try to walk forward, but it doesn't really let you, so we'll just wait. And it just sinks down into nothing, revealing an entrance to Sand Hill, another sub-game. And the first exclusive mission for Tails. And we're on a snowboard. And now you got these little uh, gates to go through. They just add a little extra challenge. You are in no way required to go through them, but they do increase your score. And uh, I find it fun to do, so I just do it. Boom. There we go. Ah, oh, I already screwed up. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, not required. But anyway, this is the first mission that's actually unique to the Tales of the Story. So, it's definitely nice. And I definitely do enjoy these snowboarding sections, so I have no problem with them. Now, if you if that sort of thing happens to you, what just happened to me, if you get turned around and you're having a hard time getting back around, just jump, and it'll usually straighten you out a little bit. Jump and aim in the direction you want to go, and you should be fine. Now, there's no rings in this stage, so don't worry about that. And uh, that's why the tail story isn't really ideal for collecting rings in the Sonic one is, because there's just not much to go off of. And there we go. Looks like we found him. We saw him there. That's a decent score. Try to beat it. Alright, there we go. Uh, as you saw there, it said Sonic the Hedgehog added to the list. Uh, now that's old, retro, classic Sonic. Uh, the, not the original, because it doesn't look like it. I actually don't know exactly what version it is. But you can play you know, classic Sonic games in this, in this uh, game, in Sonic Adventure. You can find them at the menu, and I'll actually show that off a little bit later. But for now, let's figure out where we are. Now, uh, this temple... It resembles the temple there in the Mystic Forest or whatever. We can't enter it or anything like that. But I'm not exactly sure if it is the same temple or if this is like the Mystic Ruins area. It's the Shrine of Knuckles Race. Yeah, so I actually don't know if it's meant to be the same one and all these other ones are in ruins and just replaced by a forest. I don't know. I mean, that'd be actually something interesting to find out. But it says Knuckles Race, meaning these are all echidnas, as we can see. You can go up and talk to them. Miracles come from within. None of them really say anything too interesting. I think, therefore I am. Miracles come from within. You'll find a lot of repeats, etc, etc. But now if you go over here, you have the next Tails upgrade. You found the Rhythm Badge. To do continuous tail attacks, hold the action button down. Now, I hope it's not just me, but that badge looks a lot like the Force Point Temple Keys for the Volcano and Ocean Force Points in Star Fox Adventure. Uh, Star Fox Adventures, uh, with an S. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I hope others definitely notice that as well. But anyway, that's Tails' second and final upgrade. And both of his are optional. You can go through the whole game without him. But basically, if you hold B now, you'll do these. And you can travel like this, too. Uh, it's debatable if it's faster or not. I don't think it is, but I mean, it could be. I mean, it really doesn't hurt, I mean, going through specific areas and just basically being invincible, just hitting everyone in your path. But basically, you just... Now it looks like we're a helicopter, honestly. You can go off of high places like that. It looks pretty cool. But yes, yeah, so there's really nothing else to this place. I mean, there's a lot of echidnas that just basically walk around here for pacers. <laughs> 
And uh, what I mean by that is in my in my elementary school, we had these things called pacers. You would walk or run around the track, and you'd get, you know, uh, a pacer, which was a little silver circle piece of paper. And uh, if you went around four times, that equaled a mile, and you would get a gold one. Uh, each week, your class would get uh, the golden shoe. It was just a way of getting, you know, the kids to exercise. But anyway, that's what this reminds me of exactly, because they're literally doing nothing besides walking. But who's this? She looks familiar. Let's talk to her. The servers are the seven chaos emeralds. Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power, power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm to call. And you are? And there we go. It uh, looks like that frog is associated with Big the Cat. And uh, he's doing something with him. Who knows what he's doing, honestly. But anyway, let's talk about that quote-unquote dream that Tails was having. Now, when we had that same situation with Sonic, uh, he was able to travel within the area. He wasn't able to look at a map, though. He was just able to travel. And he was... He, it seemed as though he wasn't able to interact with Tikal when he saw her. She was speaking... And it kind of seemed like she was speaking to him, but he didn't say anything to her. It almost seemed as though he couldn't interact. Tails' dream was much more vivid. He was able to communicate with everyone there and travel it and look at the map. And we even collected an upgrade from there, which means it obviously does exist if we still have it at this point. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. And, uh, well, I'm sure we'll get many more of those later. But anyway, now we know the name of that girl, Tikal. So you hear that? That is Tikal's voice. So, as I mentioned before, that ball is not actually here. That's a fourth wall thing. We know of the existence of that ball, Tikal, but uh, the characters don't know about her until you're actually in a cutscene with her. Now, actually, let's just take our new Chaos Emerald and over here. The time has come at last. This new place would work a lot better. I've ironed out most of the problems. So, here it goes. Emeralds, do your stuff. Ready, Sonic? Here I come.
As you saw there on the side of the plane, it said Sonic, implying that this is yet again Sonic's plane. And again, suddenly it's dark and almost stormy. Who knows? Oh, this is an exact repeat too, so I'm just going to spend time talking about it and whatever. I'm not really going to concern myself too much with the score. I'll just get what I get. I got 76% on the last sub game, so let's see if we can do better than that. Let's aim for 80. I don't see that happening, but that'd be cool. Now, anyway. Hmm. Had a few things to talk about. First of all, where on earth did Tails find the time to develop this plane or get the system to get get the system to go? I mean, in between the time the cutscene happened to the time he walked up to his workshop, he was already done. So how did that happen, first of all? And uh like I said before in Sonic Story, this plane, the Tornado 2, is meant to be just the original tornado just painted blue. As we know, as that's I only know that from Sonic X. It might be completely wrong, honestly, but but that's how I knew about it. And uh, Sonic only ever references one plane as his, the Tornado. But this one's clearly his as well if it says Sonic on the side. Now then again, it could be the original Tornado just repaired. I mean, it's never made clear, but I don't know. No reason to really question it. Well, there's always a reason to question something. But there's less of a reason to question something if you don't get an answer. <laughs> you know? Almost like a waste of time. Alright, here we go. And this little boss fight really doesn't change. I mean, you know, we have to go through this with, uh, I actually, I actually don't know what to call this form. <laughs> X form. Man, the letter X is so cool. There we go. And uh, I think I'm actually going to do really well here. I'm really confident in getting a higher percentage this time. I want 80%. That's what I want. Well, what I want is 100%, but what I'm aiming for is 80. I don't see myself ever getting 100% in this. It's never really been my goal either, just because, I don't know, it doesn't really seem worth it. Come on. The problem is you can only lock on to five things at once, so you have to be really quick about it. You have to lock on really quick, and then shoot, and then lock on again. So, that is kind of annoying. And sometimes it, you have to wait until uh, your missiles actually make contact with the victim. <laughs> before you can uh, lock on again, as you saw there. So that's annoying, that is. Come on. Oh, I was trying to lock on to that guy. You see here, this bottom portion, when you're going underneath the egg carrier, is really simplified for you, if you can take care of all those spike balls before you get down here. As you can see, I've only been hit once, and I've never really get, gotten hit more than once or twice ever doing these missions. I've never died, that's for sure. Our score seems pretty high, but I don't really have anything to compare it to. I don't really pay attention to the score all that much. Come on, turn around already. There we go. So remember, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. Alright. Looks like it's going to take exactly two cycles this time. Usually I have, you know, a lot more damage on the first part. But there we go. Nice and easy. 24,000. Wow, that's a high score. I feel. I don't know. I'm sure any one of you could beat it. And 72%? What? Come on, I wanted 80. God damn it. You know, having something this big is just completely ineffective. I mean, especially if you're a lone man with, like, a robot army. I mean, they don't really have needs, they're just robots. Anyway, as you saw there in that cutscene, Tails mentions that he forgot to put in the landing gear. In the Sonic story, he says, there's no landing gear in this mode. Which is it? <laughs> Come on, see, that's what I'm talking about. When you start changing up the dialogue, 
you start getting different interpretations of meaning, and you don't want that, because then we don't really know what's going on. Oh well. Anyway, we're on the egg carrier now. We got our Tornado 2 running. We're here with it now. We found Sonic. And like I said, we're on the egg carrier. And you guys know what's coming next so far, because we're kind of sharing the story with Sonic right now, kind of sharing the spotlight. But don't worry. Before long, we'll be back on our own. I'll see you guys in the next episode.